This is my sexy green fishing machine, the Lifetime Hydros. Hey guys, Tony here. Welcome back to Fishing for Happiness. I hope you guys were able to get some time on the water, hopefully with uh, friends and family. Um, today I'm excited to review a product that's really been a game changer for me. Um, before I start though, I just wanted to, you know, share a few, a quandary I had, but I think I've, uh, you know, resolved it. Um, you know, my wife told me that I may be coming across a little abrasive. I guess sometimes I, I do that, you know, a little sardonic sometimes, I guess. Um, but uh, being that she's a business consultant, I figure I better listen and, and work on that. But, uh, you know, I searched deeply and uh, came up with nothing. So I guess I just won't be able to relate with some people. And I guess that's going to be unfortunate for one of us. Um, but, uh, you know, right, be right before I started, you know, filming this video, I just thought about uh, who... If I can't do it, who could do it? You know, who can uh, connect my viewers? So, you know, I, I, I think I found out, I found the person. You know, I just got to snap them out of the matrix. So, you know, I just got to snap them out. But uh, my fingers don't work because, you know, they're too dry from fishing. So, I'm going to do this the hard way. So, bear with me. All right. Let's see. No, that didn't work. Okay. That was better. All right. I think he's materializing right, right there. All right, leave it to this man. If you smell ah, what the rock is cooking. So you're looking for a kayak? What do you want a kayak for? Doesn't matter what you want a kayak for. So you're out there looking and all the cool people are out there and the $2,000 Hobies making fun of you, making you feel a little insecure, maybe a little fragile, making you question your intentions. Let me tell you something. You take all your fears, your insecurities, you slap it on this Smithwick, you wrap it up, 80 pound braid, you turn this stick bait sideways, and you stick it up their candy bass. Now make sure to like, and subscribe to this channel. <sighs> Thanks, T Rock. Man, that guy is intense. You know, I wish I could be as cool as that guy. I'd probably connect with everybody if I had his charisma. But um, you know, by the way, YouTube he, he said bass and not not the other word. So don't demonetize me or anything. Bass, B A S S. Yeah. Um, Thanks, T Rock. Make sure you know. Don't give me in trouble. So, uh, yeah, here we go. Um, hope you enjoy the review. And uh, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. Thank you. There she is. Look at that green sexy beast. This is one of my favorite um, fishing tools here. Um, I got it basically uh, to get me to places that I can't quite walk to. Um, I am a bank fisherman at heart. And so, um, you know, I prefer to always fish from the bank, regardless of what kind of boat I'm in. Um, so I fish from all kinds of boats, charter boats, jet boats. But uh, at the end of the day, I prefer to fish from the bank. And this gets me basically to all the banks that I need to get to. Um, but um, it is very comfortable and it does, um, you know, get me out on the water in any condition. It gets me to any place I need to get to, and it's only 38 pounds. I can just, you know, car top it, stick it in the fit, stick it in my pickup. Um, more importantly, I could just grab it off of it, any of those vehicles and just uh, walk it down 100 yards um, to any bank. Don't need a boat ramp, and uh, just get fishing. And that's really um, kind of what a kayak is for for me at least. It actually um, 
did capture my attention because of the uh, unique shape of it. It's, I, I personally think it's pretty freaking sexy. Like it's like a sports car. Um, it's got nice curves, but uh, those curves aren't just for looks. It actually is designed very well as far as tracking and stability. So um, I can stand in it, um, you know, if I, you know, I'm careful. And, but my daughter, she stands in it all day. Um, I've never tipped in it. I've handled two to three foot waves um, and it just cuts right through them. Um, you know, you'll get wet, but uh, you won't tip over. Um, it's a, it is a very stable design and it is fairly fast. Um, I've heard people complain that they're not that quick, but uh, you know, if you're comparing this to a racing kayak, then yeah, of course. But, uh, for something that's gonna keep you safe and get you to places you can't get to, and then this is really um, the best thing you can get out there for, I mean, $170 for the price of a nice fishing reel. You can get this kayak, which will pretty much uh, exponentially yep. increase your fishing possibilities. So it's a no-brainer. Um, it's very easily customizable. Um, there are a few customized, um, you know, parts that uh, I did put on this, but, uh, you know, I'll go ahead and go over those a little, a little bit later. But, um, yeah, it, it is a very stable and fairly quick kayak. Uh, it is comfortable for me. Um, it really depends on, you know, your physical condition and, and really how your body, um, you know, works or adjusts to this kayak. I mean, nothing's really one size fits all, but uh, this works really well for me. Oh, what's a good one. And as you can see, this thing has been through quite a few adventures with me and it has not sprung a leak yet. You know, um, me and the family will drag it up on rocks and then slide it off of them. Pretty much cliff jump with these suckers. So it's pretty nice. I mean, they're pretty tough. And the nice thing about HDPE is that you can easily just, um, you know, weld any holes that you'll make in it. Um, you know, it's just an eventuality if you're rough on them, um, like we are, that you're probably gonna eventually spring a leak. So, you know, um, it's nice to have just your standard HDPE uh, material that you can easily just just patch up. At the end of the day, it's what makes this kayak so awesome.